Well, you know, look, in terms of the two candidates, I don't really have a dog in this race. I think they're both, uh, you know, uh, racist war criminals uh, with sexual predators. Uh, so uh, I'm not saying this is some kind of Biden lover or Trump lover, but it's just, you know, the, the writing's on the wall. Biden, you know, barely eked this thing out. Uh, the polar, the pollsters thought he was going to win by much more than he did. The reason those polls are always wrong, and I've said this for years, is because millions of people, mainly people of color, are purged from the voter rolls. Uh, Greg Palace, the investigative journalist, has done immense research into this. Um, last time around, it was you know upwards of eight million. Uh, this time, it could be, e be even close to that uh, in battleground states. So that's why these polls never uh, actually uh, re relate to the end result because people mainly people of color think they're voting and their votes are thrown out because people mainly people of color think they're voting and their votes are thrown out because people mainly people of color think they're voting and their votes are thrown out and so but but biden's gonna you know he's he's eking this out he's he's uh, he's he's barely winning and you know it's it's hilarious to watch the the right wing try and pretend you know this wasn't legit on there you know because I mean, they, like like the last uh, commentator. I'm sorry, I don't know the names. I was just saying is that is that there's really been uh, no evidence of this, as far as I've seen. It's people walking out and going, "It's I don't, we don't even know what's happening in there." While well, it's just you know civil servants counting votes, and and oh my God, we went to bed and then we woke up and there were different numbers on the screen. So it's it's pretty hilarious to watch them get all upset. But uh, yeah, I mean, I think Biden's got one.